This is Paul Spicelli. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for AppCara, and today I'm going to tell you about the AppStack connector for Citrix Cloud Portal Business Manager. Citrix Cloud Portal Business Manager is a self-service cloud provisioning, operations, and commerce portal. It's designed for use with Citrix Cloud Platform, which is powered by Apache Cloud Stack, and other underlying cloud orchestration layers. The AppStack connector is a powerful way to augment CPBM with enterprise workload automation capabilities to make it very simple to launch and manage enterprise applications in cloud platform. So the overall trend that we see is that businesses will want to move more enterprise workloads into the clouds. These are multi-tier applications consisting of multiple servers, multiple application packages, and also distributed business applications such as scale-out databases and uh, big data workloads. There's also a revenue opportunity here for service providers. As they've offered infrastructure clouds, they can now start offering their users self-service applications and marketplaces on top of those infrastructure clouds. So what's the problem with this? Well, the problem is that enterprise applications are still very complex to deploy and manage. It's manual, it's time consuming to set up all these applications, configure them properly, and moreover to manage them over their life cycle. So this is where the AppStack connector for CP, CPBM comes in. It allows the user a very easy to use single unified console, CPBM, and allows the user to create these applications, deploy them in the cloud, and have AppStack take care of all of the under, uh, underlying automation. So AppStack maintain, maintains a data model of the app, and it knows how to orchestrate both the infrastructure and the application components on top of Cloud Platform. So let's take a look at this in a demo. So here we are at the Citrix Cloud Portal Business Manager login page. And I'll go ahead and provide my credentials to log in to the system. And once we're logged in, we'll see the main dashboard that allows us access to our services. So the main dashboard shows me at a glance information like the number of active users, subscriptions, some spending versus budget information and also the availability of the AppStack service that's been provided through the AppStack connector. And I see that everything is operating normally. So let's go ahead and access the AppStack service from My Services. And I can see here the logo of AppStack, the connector, and actually bring up the AppStack UI that allows me to access some of the workloads that I have running in my underlying CloudStack cloud. So in this case, I see that I have a single workload called Server Farm Drupal. In the more general case, I might have a long listing of them. So it's up to me to manage however many workloads I have deployed in, in the various clouds at my disposal. So if we drill down on this, we can actually see the contents of the workload running in CloudStack. So in this instance, I have a Drupal application running across two different servers. Uh, one server is running Drupal, including PHP, Apache, an installer. And the second one is a dedicated instance for running the MySQL database. And if we'd like to, we can dive down a little bit deeper here and go to the topology view, which will actually show, show us the layout of these two servers in a tiered fashion. So I can see that I have a tier for common services, currently nothing defined, a web tier running the, the actual Drupal server, and then a database or DB tier running the database server. There's a line here showing that there's an actual dependency between the two, and that's very important because AppStack and the AppStack connector will manage these dependencies, the fact that an application server is actually referencing a database server, and it'll maintain that for consistency. I can also click on each of these servers and see that there are IP addresses for me to connect to the servers. It does show the dependencies. And furthermore, I can dive down a little bit deeper here and actually configure these servers. So I can see things like the application data, instance data about this virtual machine, the CPU, the memory, and the disk. And more importantly, I can browse things like security parameters, even storage parameters, storage volume parameters, and then a whole host of things like graphing information. You can see there's a, quite a long list of graphs associated with this server, this virtual instance, uh, monitoring, dynamic monitoring data, and even the event logs. So there's quite a lot of uh, a, a raft of information available at my disposal. So how do we get these workloads actually started into the system? Well, we go to the application catalog or the service bundle catalog within Citrix Cloud Portal. So here we are looking at the catalog page of Citrix Cloud Portal, and I can see a listing of uh, various items. 
Uh, first of all, I can see that uh, there are two service bundles, a Hudson bundle and a Drupal server farm bundle defined. So one is a very popular development uh, utility tool, and the second one is a content management system. Uh, these are actually available for configuration and for subscription so that I can create new instances of these workloads. Uh, more importantly, AppStack, the AppStack connector and CPBM can work together to allow you to define lots of other service bundles. So there are predefined lists here of everything from other content managers to development tools and databases, uh, even to a complete ERP uh, and CRM packages. So all of that is available to define these new service bundles, uh, apply pricing to them so that uh, users can view what the monthly pricing or the quarterly or even the annual pricing uh, would be. And again, Cloud Portal takes care of all the commerce, all the rolling up of the data as we use these actual uh, service bundles and deploy them as workloads. So how simple is it to deploy this? Well, let's go ahead and actually take a look at deploying another uh, Drupal server farm as we had browsed before. And you can see that I'm presented with a page with lots of options for how I want to configure this. So I have the application name here. I have a single data center location in this case uh, running a cloud platform, CloudStack. Uh, in general, there might be other locations to select from. And then I have a variety of operating system choices and virtual machine flavors that I can pick from. So in this case, perhaps I want to run this on uh, an Ubuntu operating system. I go ahead and select that. It reflects that in the uh, subscription charges. And then, of course, depending on how much CPU and RAM I'd like to throw at this, uh, the pricing may be affected as well. So let's go ahead and uh, pick a middle choice there. And now in this case, I want to pick uh, Server Farm Drupal 2, perhaps, as my workload name. So once I'm happy with all of my selections, it's actually rolled that up for here, me here in this uh, side of the page. I can see the aggregate cost uh, of the bundle uh, running this for the given time period. And now I have two choices. I can go ahead and subscribe and provision this immediately or even subscribe and provision it later. But I'd like this to actually go ahead and deploy. Oops, I need to go ahead and accept the terms and conditions and then select the option that I want. And that's it. I'm ready to go and uh, it lets me actually go to the page that I'd like to. In this case, I'll select the dashboard. So it's as easy as that. We've really made the process of uh, deploying these applications, very, very few clicks, very easy. And uh, once we're done, we'll go ahead and see that we now have another new active subscription running in the services uh, pane. So let's go ahead and click on the My Services tab and actually verify that our new service bundle is being deployed as a workload. And indeed, there it is, Server Drupal 2. And we see that uh, the status of the underlying servers is actually already green, so they've already started uh, spinning up. They've been provisioned in the cloud, and uh, AppStack and the AppStack connector then go to work and actually install the software real-time on these servers. So all of the required packages, the dependent packages, all of the configuration parameters and the dependencies will be automatically set up uh, by the App AppStack engine through the AppStack connector. So in the end, what we're going to have is a completely running workload that we can actually interact with, launch, and manage. For further information on the AppStack connector for Citrix Cloud Portal Business Manager, please visit either citrix.com slash ready or appcara.com. Uh, the AppStack connector for Citrix is fully Citrix ready validated for use with Cloud Platform and Cloud Portal Business Manager. Uh, there's also additional information on our website at appcara.com slash downloads, including solutions brochures and the actual software download. Thank you very much.